This is another great Bob Graham book called Rose Meets Mr. Wintergarten. And it's another one that I read a lot as a kid, or that was read a lot to me as a kid, because my name is Rosie and her name is Rose. Um, it's a great book for spotting too, because in some of the pictures you can spot a crocodile, which is quite fun. So let's see if we can spot the crocodile as we read the book. This is Rose meets Mr. Wintergarten. I bought this for Aurora Nutmeg from the library book sale in 2018. It was a good year. Here we go. There's their house and this is Mr. Wintergarten's house. I don't think we can see the crocodile in this picture. Mm, no, it doesn't seem to be there. Rose meets Mr. Wintergarten. The morning the Summers family moved into their new house, they felt at home. Faith and Rose put up their pictures, Baby Blossom watched. Mr and Mrs Summers planted pansies, petunias, daisies and geraniums. Their garden was a carpet of flowers, all before the sun went down. Every morning from the roof of their house, the Summers watched the sun come up. The sun never touched the house next door. Next door, everything bristled. Next door lived Mr. Wintergarten. There were stories in the street about Mr. Wintergarten. He's mean, said Emily. And horrible, said Arthur. He's got a dog like a wolf, said Naomi. And a saltwater crocodile. They say he rides on his crocodile at night, says Emily. And get ya, Arthur shrieked. I don't believe you, said Rose. Anyway, don't frighten Blossom. My dad lost his football over there when he was a boy, said Emily. You can just see it through the prickles, old and flat as a pancake. No one ever goes in there, says Arthur, in case Mr. Wintergarten eats them. If your ball ever goes over, said Naomi, Forget it. And just then, Rose's ball went straight over Mr. Wintergarten's fence. Rose went to tell her mum. Well, honey bunch, mum said, you can get your ball back. Why don't you just go and ask him? Because he eats kids, said Rose. We'll take him some hot cakes instead, said mum, and maybe some flowers. Mr. Wintergarten's front gate had not been opened for years. Rose heaved and pushed. The gate groaned and squeaked. Then slowly it swung open. Rose could see that there was a dog, big as a wolf. I can't see any crocodile, she said. I should hope not, replied Mum and threw the dog a cake. But if you look very carefully here, you can see what looks like the end of a crocodile's tail. Rose knocked at Mr. Wintergarten's door. Who the devil is that? shouted a voice from inside. It's me, said Rose, and tiptoed in. What do you want? said Mr. Wintergarten. I'm Rose Summers from next door. I've come to ask for my ball back. She twisted her fingers in her handkerchief. I've brought some flowers and hot fairy cakes from my mum. Mr. Wintergarten glared at her. His dinner was cold, grey and uninviting, with bits of gristle floating in it and mosquitoes breeding on top. Ugh. But Rose could see that he wasn't eating children. Please, may I look for my ball? she asked. No, growled Mr. Wintergarten. Clear off. But when Rose had gone, Mr. Wintergarten slowly pushed back his chair and did something he hadn't done in years. That was a close one. Almost came off. Mr. Wintergarten opened his curtains. He sat on his front step in the sun. No one has ever asked for their ball back he said to himself, or brought fairy cakes. He saw Rose's ball and thoughtfully pushed it with his toe. 
Next, he did some darting movements that made his coattails fly in the sun. And then Mr. Wintergarten kicked the ball. Right back over the fence. Good kick, said Rose. Thank you, replied Mr. Wintergarten. Would someone mind throwing my shoe, throwing back my slipper, he added. I will, said Rose. She threw his slipper high into the air. Catch, Mr. Wintergarten, Rose called, and Mr. Wintergarten caught it. What's this over here? Could that be a crocodile? And look, all the fences are getting taken down and all the spiky plants are being taken away. And look, here's Mr. Wintergarten playing with the ball with Rose and her mum and all the other kids playing with their balls. And look, what's over here? There was a crocodile after all, but he's got a smile so he looks quite friendly. What a happy ending. And I can hear my cat piteously meow meowing because he wants to go out. So that's the end of Rose Meets Mr. Wintergarten.